Hallelujah. See, he a, he a new fool. See, he a new fool. And he can sing. Yeah, that's, he our, can. Yes, yeah, he can. that's our special guest, Steve. It's uh, He's a gospel singer. He's also an actor uh, who was discovered by Tyler Perry, our friend. He's best known for his role as Floyd on Tyler Perry's House of Pain, mm-hmm. the TV show. Lord. And now he's starring in an all-new own TV series. It's called Love Thy Neighbor. It premieres tonight. It's funny. It's entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show for the very first time. You just heard him. Palmer Williams. Palmer. Palmer. I love that name, Palmer. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm so excited. I can't even believe I'm actually on your radio station. You own it. You, you, you boy, boy, you done got there. Oh, my goodness. I have arrived. I can die happy now. Bucket list number 16. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Palmer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, sitting out here. Um, just excited about this show. I haven't been able to sleep very much last night. I was up tweeting myself to, to my thumb swell up <laughs> to where I was uh, tweeting about having to have nots last night. So just, yeah. just an exciting two days. Just looking forward to just doing something really, really great. Okay, now Love Thy Neighbor, we had Oprah and Tyler on yesterday, premieres right. tonight. Tell us about the, the show. Tell us about your character as well. Well, Floyd. you know, Floyd is uh, best known as the uh, the uh, the owner of the barber shop in the, in the um, the show uh, uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> the show that I'm on. Hell, love thy neighbor. Come on, man. No, Come no, on. not love thy neighbor, but actually, <laughs> actually, in, in the house of pain. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But uh, what has happened is that uh, I'm sort of like coming over to this show and uh, offering oh. a, a little bit of uh, comedic value to it, along with uh, Patrice Lovely, who plays Hattie May Love. She owns a diner, and she is uh, actually like a matriarch of, of her family, and she has her daughter living there with her that's in and out of a relationship with her husband, whether they're going to be divorced or not, that's to be seen, and then also uh, the son of her daughter. So she's got a house full, and she wants all of them up out the house, you know, leave the nest, leave and cleave. That's what it's supposed to be after. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so then for going from that now i'm the building supervisor of a building that has all of these other people that are involved in her life too as well as a partner and the cook at the diner that hattie owns wow. but the, the issue is that i was married to her brother and he mysteriously died and the jury is still out whether or not you know uh hattie has she, dirty hands on that killed. whole situation <laughs> <laughs> wow. that's funny hey hey, yeah. hey 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 man let me ask you a question you What's you've been thing? involved with uh Tyler, I think now like eight years. Yes, sir. Yeah. How did how did this whole uh, relationship come about? How did you meet him? How did did you audition? How how did this all come about? Well, I had, I had met Mr. Perry a while back and everything, but we kind of lost t- uh, touch because he kind of blew up. And so, uh, kind of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> right. a little bit. So, so what had happened though? There was a time uh, where I was actually a drama minister at my church, and how how many people can say that they actually got fired from a volunteer ministry? But that's another whole story. Mm. But anyway, so as as <laughs> I was church. brought back to the to the ministry, I was asked to do a dance. I'm not like a liturgical dancer, you know. I'm not that type of dude. You know, I can do line dancing and all that kind of stuff. Right. But they asked me to do this part where I played the part of Jesus. And I thought that was a stretch in itself. So here it is. I do this part, and I do this dance, and I didn't want to do it. I was complaining. I was just, you know, I ain't going to do this. The people going to laugh at me. They're not going to take it seriously. And I know God was just gritting his teeth like, man, if you don't shut up and just do this, I got something bigger for you, and you don't even know wow. it yet. Mm-hmm. So I did this, did the dance, tore the church up, took like 30 minutes to get it back together. It just so happened that Tyler Perry was there that day. Wow. So the next day, that Monday, as I was getting ready to go out, because I have a landscape business, I was getting ready to go out and cut some grass, and my boy answered my phone, and I said, uh, he said, hey, man, uh, somebody from Tyler Perry Studios called and said, you got uh, two slots for an audition tomorrow. Which one you want? I'm like, yeah, right. So with his part-time save behind, he started cussing. It's like, Negro, if you don't call and beep, 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 <laughs> and go on and call back, I will cuss you out right again. So here it is. I called back, went in at 10, 15 the next morning, crying, snotting, and praying, saying, God, you got to make this happen. Went in, 15-minute audition turned to two hours and then all of a sudden that Boom. night at 8 30 they say we want you to be on house of pain so- you're listening to the steve harvey morning show